Technological advances have only come about very recently in the history of milk consumption. The availability and distribution of milk and dairy products today is a blend of centuries-old knowledge of traditional milk products with the application of modern science and technology. Dairy has a very long history and can be traced back nearly to the dawn of man. Milk has been cherished for its many nutritional benefits. So, how has the love of milk shaped the dairy industry? Milk, or some sort of components of milk, are in almost everything we eat, from chocolate, even certain medications, to deli-sliced meats. Of course, there are the more obvious places you can find milk, for example, in dairy products. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Bazaar. In this episode, we will explore some aspects of the dairy industry and its related trades, both nationally and internationally. So, let's explore today's Bazaar. Dairy industry can be broken down into three general segments – producers, processors and retailers. Each segment also has its challenges and related down-the-line trades. We visited a dairy processing company in order to see just how this segment fits into the larger picture of dairy industries and the food market as a whole. We visited Park Dairy Company, which was established over 60 years ago and is one of the major dairy producers in Iran. This dairy company produces a wide range of products including butter, ice cream, yogurts and much more. It produces hundreds of tons of products each year which can be found all over the country. <laughs> و انواع خامه های صبحانه اصلی و خامه های تندار دیگه توی شرکت تولید میشه ما خودمون توی دو سال اخیر تونستیم کره تولید کنیم کاری که خیلی شرکت ها نتونستن بکنن و کره وارداتی واقعا بعد صفر رسودیم کره سنتی رو داخل بازار دادیم و کره رو به صورت فرش و تازه و بدون هیچ کنه افزودنی وارد بازار کردیم و الحمدلله با توجه به کمبود کره تو مملکتمون و آزاد شدن ارزش یه نقطه عطفی بوده توی لبنیاتم. Earlier in its business, it began by producing ice cream and later expanded its activities to include varieties of products made from pasteurized milk such as cheese and butter. شرکت لبنیات پاک در حال حاضر بیش از 2000 نفر پرسنل مستقیم داره که به صورت ماهانه از این گروه دارن حقوق دریافت میکنن و مجموعه نیروی انسانی غیر مستقیمش به بیش از ده هزار نفر میرسه این گروه دارای شیشت کارخونه است که توی که دو تا کارخونه در تهران هست و بقیه کارخونه ها چهار کارخونه دیگه در شهرستان ها و استان های دیگه هستش که مجموعه گروه لبنیات پاک رو تشکیل میدن گروه لبنیات پاک شرکت سامی عام هستش که بیش از ده هزار سهامدار داره و در حال حاضر در بازار بورس کشورم بسیار فعال هست. This company has been actively exporting its products for over 20 years and received the national halal branding for its products. Also, this dairy producer has been active in Iran's stock market for 44 years. مجموعه گروه لبنیات پاک دارای مزیت های صادراتی و خدارش های خوبی هم هست البته به واسطه موقعیت کشور عزیزمون ایران هستش که کشورهای براسی ها خود حتی روسیه کشورهای حوزه خلیج فارس و افغانستان و مخصوصا اراق و اینها بازارهای صادراتی خوبی هستن که خدارش های که محصولات لبنیات پاک تو اونها هم تونسته نفوز خوبی داشته باشه و با توجه به این که مجموع گروه گروه پاک جزء شرکت هایی که محدود شرکت هایی که دارای آی آر مورد تایید روسیه رو داره میتونه تو اون بازار هم خوب فعالیت کنه و خدا رو شکر اقدامات خوبی هم توی سال سال قبل از این بابت شروع شده 
Its goal has been to elevate the food health and safety of its products to maintain the highest standards of quality and trust of its customers. It does so by leveraging the latest technical knowledge, contemporary automatic machinery and modern equipment to produce its delicious dairy products. There is a close competition in the dairy industry of Iran. Many dairy manufacturers have begun production along the lines of exporting their goods in order to stay ahead of the competitive market. Through best-in-class international export and local production capabilities, there has been a growing focus on specific types of packaging in order to maintain freshness and preserving quality. Offering a variety of products along with food-safe packaging standards have been key issues in maintaining customer satisfaction at this dairy company. Future goals are to add to its product basket by increasing its current production capacity along the lines of the goals of the government. منطقه ما و وضعیتی هم که داریم برای سرمایه‌گذاری خارجی هم به نظامه شرایط بسیار ایداله برای برندهای بزرگ دنیا البته تو چند سال گذشته چندین بار هم با ما یه مذاکراتی شد در ارتباط مثلا تولید انواع پنیرها و یه محصولات خاص که هم بتونیم بازار داخل بدیم هم بتونیم صادرات بکنیم چون میگم موقعیتش موقعیت خیلی خوبی هست ولی متاسفانه حالا با توجه به این موضوعات تحریم ها و این جور چیزا اونها فعلا مسکوت مونده ولی من مطمئنم که تمام اروپایی ها و خارجی ها نگاهشون این هست که به معنی اینکه شرایط به گونه ای بشه بیان و ایران سرمایه گذاری بکنن چون حتما اونها مطالعاتشون از ما خیلی هم بیشتره و من امروز دارم میبینم که واقعا چه موقعیتیه و چه جای سرمایه گذاری وجود داره تو این کشور عزیزمون This dairy company is also a major contributor to the production of butter in the domestic market. Iran does import a good amount of butter indeed. In previous years, Iran imported over 184 million dollars worth of butter to make up for domestic demands. While in general, Iran produces a large amount of raw milk, it is not enough for the production of butter in order to satisfy domestic needs. A lot of raw milk is needed to make butter. Other products such as cheese, yogurt and ice cream also require full-fat raw milk for production. So the officials in Iran are planning on increasing milk production in order to gradually phase out imported butter. ما شیری که وارد دام داره میشه از تمام شیرای صنعتی تهیه میشه تمام این شیرای صنعتی آزمایش میشه بعد از اینکه اون شیر مورد نظر ما آزمایش لازم بوش انجام شد و مورد نظر ما و جلب ما بود این شیر تخلیه میشه و در پاسترز مورد استفاده قرار میده عملیات پاسترزی روی شیر انجام میشه ما از خود شیر خامه رو خودمون میگیریم و خاممون به خاطر همین تو سطح ایران معروفه به خاطر اینکه خیلی تازه و فرش از شیر گرفته میشه و ما بقیه شیر اسکیممون ارسال میشه برای شیر خوشتر Dairy products spoil quicker than other food products so dairy producers such as this one continuously test their products for quality and safety تمام کامیونایی که وارد مجموعه ما میشن از اوزچه آب کلور رد میشن و که کاملا لاستیکام حتی زد دفونی بشه که هیچ آلودگی وارد کارخونه نشه وقتی کامیون های عمل شیر و تانکر های عمل شیر هم که وارد کارخونه میشن اصلا راننده اینها حق نداره از ماشین پیاده بشه و سیستمی که ما خودمون تعبیه کردیم تمام کنترل های لازم رو برای ورود شیر که تمام آزمایش های لازم اولیه رو انجام میدیم و از جمله اینکه آلودگی نداشته باشه، بار میکروبی نداشته باشه، آنتی بیوتیک نداشته باشه، اسیدیتش بالا نباشه و خیلی موضوعات دیگه که حالا همکاران من تو حوزه آزمایشگاه و ورود شیر حتما اینها رو خدمت شما توضیح میدن، کنترل ها انجام میشه و به صورت کاملا اتوماتیک و به صورت پمپ این وصل میشه و بدون دخالت دست میره توی مخازن ما و از اونجا به بعد دیگه اصلا هیچ دخالت دستی برای تولید محصولات وجود نداره. The increasing focus of the Iranian government to reduce economic dependence on the oil and gas sector is fueling investments for the development of dairy farming and agricultural sectors. In the last two years, dairy products had the biggest share in Iran's food exports. Personally, I'm not surprised. I find dairy products over here unbelievably tasty. This could explain why the Iranian dairy industry is expanding faster than it did a decade ago, 
and there are plans to increase dairy exports to 1 million tonnes in the years to come. Something around 7 million tonnes of milk are produced annually. Much of this milk is produced by dairy cows, which is used in various food sectors, but mainly in dairy production. Just about 60% of milk produced is used to make dairy products and the rest is distributed in the market for general consumption. Nearly 85% of milk in Iran comes from dairy cows. Other sources of milk for dairy production comes from sheep or goats and in some cases camels. While there are many large-scale dairy farms, Iran still maintains some of its productions through traditional methods. Small-scale producers such as village farmers and the Iranian nomad community are also contributors to the dairy industry. However, their share of this market is quite small. Iran is one of the top milk producing countries in the world. The country completely satisfies domestic dairy demand, like me, with the exception of butter. So the domestic market is tight with competition. Most dairy farms have large production capacities, larger than domestic demand. Any dairy surplus that is not consumed in the domestic market finds its way to the export market. Last year, Iran exported roughly 450,000 tons of dairy products. More than $700 million worth of dairy products are exported from Iran each year. Iran's top exporting markets for dairy are its neighbors such as Iraq and Afghanistan, but it also exports to countries around the Persian Gulf region as well as Central Asia. Cheese and dried whey top the charts for dairy exports worth $91 million, followed by ice cream, milk and cream worth $140 million. In terms of weight, yogurt tipped the dairy export scales at 123,000 tons with a value of $69 million. More than 2 million people across the country are employed in the dairy production chains from raw materials and input sector to livestock farms, factories and distribution sectors. In 2018, the government allocated nearly $40 million in export incentives for dairy products. These incentives narrowed the price gap of Iranian products in international markets and made it possible for them to compete. The allocation of export subsidies to dairy products by the government led to a substantial rise in their exports. Based on statistics, each kilogram of Iranian dairy product in 2018 was exported at a value of $1.5, whereas last year it increased to $1.7 on average. It is expected to increase this year as well. Not only do dairy products taste good, they also promote healthy activity in your gut bacteria. Dairy is a powerful source of calcium, which is why they are recommended by doctors and health institutions for daily consumption. Dairy also contains other important nutrients for bone health, such as magnesium, phosphorus and protein, among others. But components of milk can also be used for pharmaceuticals and personal care items, such as cosmetics. As milk has so many beneficial proteins and bacteria, it has been recognized by the personal care industry as a valuable and beneficial ingredient in many cosmetic products. Skincare products such as soaps, lotions, creams and shampoos made with milk have found their way into mainstream beauty markets in Iran and around the world. Are you still with us? Good, because it is time to see a special location visited by my good colleague out there on the field. Take it away. we hold, unwrap and dispose. But before this package could reach us, it went through different stages. And today we're going to learn all about the production of different packages. What does Tujrang do? شرکت چاپ و بسته‌بندی توجرنگ در زمینه چاپ لفاف‌های بسته‌بندی فعالیت داره. طرها رو از مشتری می‌گیره و بعد از اینکه نهایی میشن اونها رو روی سیلندر را حکاکی می‌کنه توی مرحله تولید، مرحله های چاپ، لامینیت و برش و در نهایت بسته‌بندی و ارسال به مشتری رو انجام میده. 
Before the package production begins, the approved design should be laser engraved on printing cylinders. Here we have eight different sets of cylinders, each with a different design. Once the roll is printed on, it's ready to receive additional layers. The polyester sheet is heated as it passes through every printer. This process increases the longevity of the design. Can you walk us through the production process? در مرحله اول قرارداد با مشتری توسط واحد بازرگانی بسته میشه و طرح از مشتری دریافت میشه واحد طراحی کمک خیلی بزرگی به مشتری انجام میده در رابطه با انجام طراحی هایی که مناسب برای محصولات خاص و محصولات اون شرکت باشه بعد از اینکه طراحی انجام میشه اون طرح برای سیلند سازی ارسال میشه سیلند های اون طرح ها ساخته میشن و به شرکت ارسال میشن در قسمت تولید مرحله به مرحله کارها انجام میشه مرحله اول مرحله چاپ هست از نقش هایی که روی سیلند ها هستش چاپ بر روی انواع فیلم ها و کاغذ ها انجام میشه بسته به اینکه اون محصول چند لایه باشه به قسمت های لامینیت یا اکسترود یا واحد هات ملت ارسال میشه و کارهای بعدی روی لفاف ها انجام میشه و در نهایت مرحله گرم خونه گذاری و در آخر برش و بندی و قسمت انبار محصولات انبار میشه External product wraps come in different layers depending on the usage. Some include a layer of aluminum. The seemingly simple sachet is made up of three different layers. These layers are laminated using this machine so that the content can stay fresh for longer. Polyester, aluminum, and polyethylene are the three layers that make up sachets for condiments and several other food items. So what's special about your company? به طور کلی ما مواد اولیه‌ای که حالا قبلا از خارج وارد می‌شد رو سعی کردیم جایگزین و بومی سازی کنیم توی واحد تحقیق و توسعمون و از موادی استفاده کنیم که به صورت بومی داخل شرکت ساخته میشن. For certain products, an additional compound must be added to the package to reduce its friction with the content. Compounds such as wax. This here is a hot melt machine. The roll that's already been printed on and laminated is waxed here so that the package doesn't stick to the soap. The company has faced challenges due to illegal sanctions against Iran, but these challenges have also turned into opportunities to ignite innovations. What's an example of a challenge you faced and how have you overcome it? بزرگترین چالشی که شرکت باهاش روبرو بود با توجه به تحریم هایی که بود لاک های ایزی اوپن دیگه به ایران وارد نمی شدن پس باید یه جایگزینی براشون تولید می شد ایزی اوپن ها لفاف هایی هستن در واقع در پوش هایی هستن که بر روی محصولات تک نفره حالا پنیر ها، بستنی ها یا مربا ها هستن در این حال که باید راحت باز بشن باید جوری باشه که محتویات داخل ظرف هم توی حالا حمل و نقل و جابجایی ها باز نشه و نریزه شرکت ما تونسته با استفاده از کامپاند های فیلم های ایزی اوپن رو تولید بکنه که بتونه این چالش رو برطرف بکنه فیلم های ایزی اوپن توانایی دوخت بر روی انواع پلیمر ها مثل پی اس، پپه و پترو دارا هستند و شرکت میتونه اونها رو به صورت گرانول و فیلم حتی در اختیار همکارانمون هم قرار بده A good package should not tear during transport. That's why packaging sheets are tested regularly. This is the quality control unit. Here, different mechanical tests, such as the tensile strength tests, are done to ensure of the product's quality.
The Tools Rank team is keen on keeping up with the latest standards. ISO 9000 and 45000 are among the company's many certifications. How far has your company advanced and what's your outlook for the future? شرکت توج رنگ صادرات به چند کشور همسایه رو داشته تا حالا ولی خب چشم اندازش این هستش که صادراتش رو گسترش بده و اینکه خب بسته بندی های جدید رو به شکل بومی در ایران بیاد و توسعه بده و به نقطه بنیادی در واقع ایران میخواد بده The company is constantly looking into producing new types of packages and rendering the country needless of imports. Small-scale projects with innovative solutions. From spaghetti to biscuits, so many good things come in Tujrang's small packages. Well, thank you for that adventure, wonderful stuff. Now it is time for some news and recent trends in the dairy industry that have been capturing the media's attention. As the world is grappling with the coronavirus pandemic, Iran too is taking precautions and measures to improve the containment of this virus. Due to its high mortality rate, many Iranians are taking extra care when it comes to their daily actions and even changing consumer trends. Many people have been fishing out whatever information is available to them, including what floats around on social media. Rumors have been circulating on social media that drinking milk will make people more susceptible to being infected with coronavirus. The origins of this information is arguably non-credible and fabricated. The Ministry of Agriculture, in reference to the rumors, has said that there is a large volume of incorrect and unscientific rumors circulating about milk and dairy consumption. As you might know, Iran has a large amount of livestock. These animals are used for various purposes like dairy, egg production, as well as for their meat. With Iran's high production of eggs and dairy products, these animals need to eat healthy and nutritious food. Feeding has a direct impact on the growth production capacity and health status of the animal. It is also the most important aspect for a profitable farm. Food directly relates to how fast an animal grows, healthy well-being of the animal and its product quality. Also, it is probably one of the biggest expenses of a livestock keeper. Currently, Iran is utilizing only half of its total animal feed production capacity at 23 million tons per year. Last year, Iran's feed industry factories hit a total sale of $1.3 billion. This is while Iran imports a large amount of raw materials like corn, barley and soybean meal of nearly $1 billion for animal feed. Arable land is mostly used to grow other agro-foods, which requires a considerable amount of precious water. Energy managers and planners are trying to develop options to meet increasing demands for energy while maintaining low environmental impacts. Fossil fuels are limited and also cause environmental damage, contributing to climate change. Believe it or not, a group of Iranian researchers have found a unique source of renewable energy that is abundant in Iran. One renewable energy can be derived from biogas produced from livestock manure. Dairy farms and cattle farms produce large amounts of manure that are harmful to the environment. Dairy cows and their manure produce greenhouse gas emissions which contribute to climate change and degrade local water resources. In 2015, Iranian researchers at the Department of Renewable Energies of the University of Tehran conducted a study on dairy cattle farms. They concluded that the total levels of biogas created from livestock waste could potentially be used to supply a portion of the country's natural gas demand. Well, that just about wraps up today's market. Tell us what you think about this industry because we would love to hear more from you. So leave us a comment or send us a message on our social media of Facebook and Instagram with your thoughts. I'm Samson Sees. Sees you next time on Bazaar.